Hi folks, I'm getting ready for heading out to the Alps, so in advance of my trip I've just come up to the hillside here to do a range check on my two transceivers. As part of that process as well, I wanted to investigate on how electronic devices may interfere with the usability of transceivers. So I bought with me an iPhone and a GoPro. So let's have a look at what this test does. Okay, so here we have our first pair of hooks, which is now transmitting. So I've left out just on a pole, just so we can see what's happening. So straight away we can see that it's flickering between a few metres on the pickup range. So immediately we can see interference between the phone and the transceiver. It's actually flicked the transceiver over to analog. Let's just remove the phone and see what happens. Okay, once the phone's removed, we revert back to our original search distance. So this time we're actually going to switch the phone off. Transceiver's still flickering around the original search distance and with the trans and with the phone switched off we have no interference against the transceiver. So our first test definitely concludes that a phone in flight mode or in normal power mode will affect a searching transceiver. Okay, so I've put the second transceiver just out across the field, a bit of distance that way, and that's in transmit mode. This transceiver is now in search mode. It's picking up at a 28 meter distance reading. So nothing interrupted now with the signal from the transceiver, static at 28 meters and a good direction there. I'm gonna go back over to my bag This time, turn on the GoPro. So the GoPro will be filming. Okay, so GoPro is now filming. And we'll now put this alongside the transceiver to see what difference it makes to the signal strength and range. Very, very quick disruption to the interference there. So it's gone straight into analog mode, so it can't pick up a readable distance to the other transmitting transceiver. Let's just move that out of the way. And we're straight back. So this transceiver is now in search mode, giving a distance of 29 to 28 meters away. I'm now gonna change the test I'm going to introduce a GoPro recording to the transceiver that is transmitting. So this is now recording and we're going to put that alongside the transmitting transceiver. So let's head back. No difference on the searching transceiver. As you can see from today's tests, if you are involved in an avalanche and you are using a transceiver to search for a buried victim, if you have any electronic devices that are switched on, that will interfere with the signal. Best advice, if you're involved in any incident like this, turn the devices off. Thanks for watching.